Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Thursday, July 6, 2023, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So welcome and good morning. Thank you for being here. I am like three minutes late, which is not normal for me, <laughs> but today is a crazy day. Stampin' Up! Um, the company I represent released a ton of new products. I've been answering questions, entering orders. Um, it, it's just been crazy. And so I was in the restroom brushing my teeth for my video and I was like, what? It's nine o'clock at this moment? Crap. So here I am. Good morning. Thank you for being here, whether it's your first time watching me or you are back. Cat is already up on the table um, where I do the stamping for the video. This is pretty. Good morning. <laughs> um, okay, so let me put this on comments. I can't even see your comments because I just like came in here and I was like, click, 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 go live. I didn't even do all my normal stuff. And then, of course, my camera that which is my cell phone that I use for the stamping portion, didn't want to connect, which means I had to turn on iTunes because that's the whole thing. I'm just like crazy this morning. Um, but I think everything's working now. So a good morning, Sue in Green Bay, Wisconsin, sunny Green Bay, Sherry Reed. Good morning, sunshine to you. Hey, Cindy. Good morning, Sandy in Man Marshville, Wisconsin, Julie. Good morning. A lot of you guys, actually everyone I think I just said hi to is over on YouTube. Awesome. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Um, Pat, good morning. Stella, good morning. Kylie, Julie shared. Thank you for sharing the video. Um, let's see over here. Facebook user Karen, good morning. Pat shared. Thank you so much. Um, Pat chat. I see Kitty is helping again. Yes, very. I could tell she was going to be very helpful today when I was doing stuff in here this morning. I'm like, oh boy. Um, <laughs> yes, Sherry, the assistant is ready. Cindy, thanks for sharing. Good morning, Mary. My fur baby. Yes, Terry. I thought the camera, I thought I saw a weird glitch on my iPad over here. Um, Pam in North Carolina, thanks for sharing. Janet in North Carolina, also in North Carolina. Is that, am I reading that right? Yes. <laughs> Pam and Janet. Um, Debbie, good morning, Pam. Yes, see, she's saying hi to Janet. Um, Ramona, good morning. Linda, Cindy Tarrant, Teresa in Ohio, good to see you. Julie, everybody's saying hi to Landa. Is Landa here? Because I missed her name. Um, and Tammy, good morning to you. All right, good to see everybody. Oh, Landa is here. See, I just skipped right over your name. Landa, and she says, good morning, Jennifer, Brittany, and everyone. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, that's weird that I skipped right over that, Landa. Okay. Um, hey, Lori. Hey, Terry. Uh, she said, just ordered the Let's Go Shopping. Thanks, bingo. Yes. Actually, I'm using Let's Go Shopping today. All right. So I am Jennifer Cotton. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 21 years. I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more. And, um, of course, because of that, because I... Um, have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 21 years, and I choose to do this as a job. I offer lots of events as well. Um, real quick information about this video over on YouTube later today. I will add the timestamps um, down in the description below. I feel like the camera, or maybe it's okay. I feel like I'm so short today. Um, Timestamps allow you to skip around to the section you want to watch, the card, um, the specials, the events, whatever it is. And so I have to manually add those after the video ends. And then I will add a link over here tomorrow because that's when I will be allowed to add that link. I'll add a link to my tutorial store where you can purchase lots of awesome tutorials. Okay. Couldn't see the top of my head there. We'll do that. Um, Okay, as you come on to this video, please say hi, make a comment, YouTube, Facebook, replay, now, hashtag replay, whatever you would like to say. 
it will get you entered to win the three cards I'm going to make today with the awesome Let's Go Shopping bundle, which is also a bundle I'm using in a class this month. So lots of opportunities to get some projects with Let's Go Shopping. Um, so you'll see more about that when I start stamping today. And um, But what I'm going to talk about first is my upcoming events. So I do offer tons of events throughout the month and year that anyone can take in the U.S. if you want the actual class packets. And you will receive a PDF tutorial. We cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible unless otherwise stated in the class description. You cut your own designer paper and or kit components if they're included with the fee. Of course, you have your PDF with step-by-step -step and measurements. Um, anyone in the world can take the tutorials only, which are normally, uh, you. well, there's two ways to get them. You can get them in my tutorial store or you can pre-order them under the event links most of the time. So any questions ever, just let me know. Sometimes I forget to add the tutorial link to the event. It just depends on what the event is in my poor brain. Um, but I can always go back and add that option. Okay, so my four monthly classes are card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack class, and sampler class. They are offered every single month. Um, in person on one day, which this month is July 15th, next Saturday. Um, to go is mailed July 17th. You can also even borrow the supplies from me if you're local and stamp that at your house for these four classes only, these four, in person to go check out. Um, so card and scrapbook are $15 free with a $20 order. Um, they are, I mean, the deadline is July 13th or while supplies last. We can run out of these projects. I'm looking at the wrong place for this message uh, that my phone just told me I got. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, card class is four cards, $15 free with a $20 order. We are using Zany Zoo and Darling Details Bundle. I'm gonna grab them because I just pulled them out last night. So I was like, you gotta get to designing. I've been very busy designing team incentives and other stuff and working on my event that's this Saturday and like two days from now. Um, so I haven't had time to design any of these four classes yet, but don't you worry, they will be done by Sunday. So um, these two are card class. You'll make two cards from each one. They're going to be cute, of course, or pretty or whatever the case is. <laughs> and um, you can register for that now. Scrapbook class, three 12 by 12 pages for $15 free with a $20 order. Um, We'll be doing July 4th and summer slash travel. I got this stamp set. Um, I have notes here. I literally made notes of what I should do on the pages. Um, I got this stamp set just now, or like it came in yesterday for these pages. And then I'm going to use Watercolor World also um, to make some summer travel type pages. Anyway, so that's scrapbook and uh, card, same price. Then we have um, the other two that are priced differently, sampler and stamp stack classes. You can register by this Sunday. That's only a few days away, three days, four if you count today. Um, uh, they are $37 if you're not a club member or you can join the club and they're only $35. They each include over $20 in merchandise. We cut, die cut, punch, and boss. I forgot to pull it over here, but I think I still have one uh, Zany Zoo sampler left if anyone wants that from last month, but I forgot to put it over here today. I'd like to show you the sample. But samplers are 12 by 12 framed art. Let's see if I have an old one up here. Ooh. This is a really old one. Um, this is empty. <laughs> Super cute 12 by 12 framed art. Great, make a great gift. It's a great. Um, home decor, seasonal decor, craft room decor, etc. And we cut deck a bunch of boss. You stamp and assemble. All right. So we're using the Let's Go Shopping Bundle for our sampler this month. I think it's going to be super fun and cute. And I will be able to use this these products even in a different way once I get that designed. Uh, I do put out sneak peeks, by the way, at First in my VIP group usually and then email them out, but it's probably not going to be till Sunday this time. It just depends on if I have a minute between now and Saturday morning. Then Saturday night I'll be too tired because I have an in-person event. 
and then it'll be Sunday. So anyway, um, that sampler, $37, only 35 for club members. And what club members means is you click the link, you join, you get an automatic payment withdrawal. You can cancel at any time. After six consecutive months, you get $25 in free merchandise from me. We give periodic um, gifts. Knock on wood, lately you get a gift every month, but I can't promise it. Um, if my helper can't help me, I usually don't have time to make it. Um, but but she's already started on this month's gifts. It's a really cute little thing, and you're going to get some candy. I think it'll be candy. We have to figure out what we're putting inside. And then um, that reminds me, I need to take that with me to Costco today. I'm going to go grab it real quick. Well, no, I'll just write a note. But anyway, I'm going to take it with me so I can look for candy. Um, I have to go to Costco for um, my event Saturday. Anyway, uh, periodic gifts, free, free $25 after six consecutive months, and it's cheaper. What could be better? So join the club or register for the single class by Sunday. Links in the video. I mean, not links in the video, links in the email that will go out at one o'clock today. Another email has already been sent out and another email will go out by Sunday. And then Stampa Stack, I'm using the textured floral bundle. I'm receiving this bundle today in an order. It's a really beautiful card, uh, flower, not card, <laughs> flower bundle. Let me see if I can find it real quick in my catalog. Textured, I'm going to the index, page 65. Um, anyway, that'll be your stamp stack. So 12 cards, 12 cards, four designs, three of each. I mean, yes, three, I said it right. Um, for $35, $37 for non-club members. And it's gorgeous. It's going to be so good. There's matching dyes. Yeah. And lots of cool or beautiful greetings. I should say not cool, but beautiful greetings in there. We have a splatter. I love that. Um, so that's Stampa Stack, 20, I mean, 12 cards, $20 in merchandise, cut, die, cut, punched, embossed, PDF tutorial for all of these. It's a great deal. So join that by Sunday or just sign up by Sunday. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me read these comments in case you did have a question or a comment. <laughs> um, okay, Lori in Minnesota liked and shared. Thank you, Pam in, oh, sorry. Yes, Janet saying hi to Pam. Linda, good morning. Lori, good morning. April, good morning. Good to see you here. Um, Terry, exactly. You gave me the inspiration. My budget and I are not getting along so much. He, he, he. <laughs> I love it. Right? I know. Trust me, I know about the budget thing. Um, hey, Carmen, good morning. Um, Julie says good morning to April. Cheryl, good morning. Over on YouTube. Terry shared. Thank you very much. Fran in Indiana. Joni, happy Thursday to you. Ro, Ro, good morning. Awake and anxious to see what I have today. Hope you like it. Good morning, Stella and Mary just shared. Thank you. Okay. Um, so those are the four monthly classes. Any questions, let me know. And then I, we, Alejandra and I are very close to releasing our, uh, the next class we're doing together, we're, we are using the Hello Kiwi bundle. You're going to make six cards. This is a sneak of only three of them where you're going to make six different designs. Um, you're going to get tons of product with your fee. You can add on that Hello Kiwi stamp set if you like. It will be to go only with a PDF tutorial. And this is the Hello Kiwi stamp set. By the way, when I started designing with it, I was like, this stamp set has an amazing splatter. It's really large, like physically. I don't know if the stamps are Yes, they are. You know, it's a big size of a splatter stamp. And I don't know what it is about the stamp set, but it's just so bold and pretty when you stamp it. Like it's kiwis and berries, but it's so pretty. And then the font's really cute. Um, or, you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to sneak peek my three cards. And Allie is working on hers any day now. Y'all know how we are. Um, so you're going to get lots of product. You're going to be able to make the six cards with the PDF tutorial. And the link will come out soon. We're hoping to have it all 
set up and ready to register so that it's mailed right at the beginning of August, if not end of July. So watch for that link coming. It is not out yet, um, but you're going to want to take this class. Okay. Um, then, of course, I have the August retreat in person or to go. Um, register by July 23rd for in person or to go. Either one, you're going to get 10 or more make and takes using the Cheerful Daisies bundle. And uh, I forgot the name of that set. Where's my note? Kindest Expression stamp set that gives us more word options. Um, 10 or more projects, including a sampler, including cards, including scrapbook pages. PDF tutorial with your step by step instructions. Gifts, which by the way, well, no, I shouldn't say, but anyway, gifts. <laughs> Um, a bag and fun. You get that in person or to go. Then you in person or to go, you can add on the two optional classes, the inked and tiled stamp a stack using note cards and envelopes. And I've seen these samples. They're gorgeous. You do definitely want to sign up for this and you're going to want the punches to complete your projects. Because sometimes you have to stamp and punch, you know, and then, um, my class is the Crafting With You. That's April McCright's class, by the way, the Ink to Tile. Mine is the Crafting With You, and it's going to be a stamp, uh, not a stamp, but it's going to be a sampler and cards. Okay, so you can register for all of that right now, in person or to go. If you're coming in person, register for the in-person retreat, and then there's a separate link to do add on the classes for in person. If you're taking it to go, it's one link. You pick and choose. You can do class only two classes only, retreat only, retreat plus April's class, retreat plus my class. You can do tutorials only on that registration link. It's only $35 for all three tutorials, 10 projects, April's cards, my projects. We offer a lot. So um, any questions, let me know. Hey, Don, thanks for sharing. Denise in Colorado, good morning to you. All right. So that's retreat. Uh, let me give you the little graphic about the in-person. You can still register. Temple, Texas, August 10 through 13. You get an eight-foot table. Incredible lighting in this place. Um, tons of space. You can walk down the middle aisle between the two chairs and the people can be pushed all the way out and you still won't touch a chair. <laughs> like Lots of space. Um, meals included. It's It's just awesome. So any questions on that, let me know. You get a bed to sleep in and your meals. Okay. And all the stuff we talked about, the make and takes and all that. And you can use our supplies when you come in person and you will be able to do the make and takes and or classes with our supplies. Okay. Crafting cruise, J January 28th. I'm jumbling up January 28th and February 4th. January 28th, 2024, Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas. This is like April and my fourth, fifth, sixth. I don't know. We've been doing a lot of crafting cruises, so we have it down now. We know how to do it well. Um, Self-paced classes, all included with your crafting portion fee. Tons of gifts, prizes, games, fun. And um, anyone can go. They don't have to do the crafting portion. So bring your spouse, partners, children, friends cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, it does not matter. They can all use our group rate, which is cheap, cheap, cheap compared to Royal Caribbean specials and offers. And then only whoever wants to do the crafting portion adds that on. Okay. Um, all of these links that I have links for will be in the one o'clock email today. So make sure you're on my email list. You can register for it right now up here on Facebook, down here in YouTube, in these descriptions. So, um, I give myself a note. I want to make sure something, I think it is though, but anyway. All right. So that is my events. Next up is specials. You guys might've heard that Stampin' Up! released some new product today. You might've heard about that. I might've been up at 1 a.m. ordering that new product just in case it went on back order. <laughs> Um, for me and some customers. And <laughs> um, then uh, Zana says, would love a bed. Yes, you do get a bed. 
Um, Kathy in Bismarck, North Dakota. Terry, good morning. Another balmy day in Texas. Very true. Although they're saying not as hot today as the last several days. It's still going to be 90 something. I think it's 82 right now, but you know, I think it's like hot everywhere. It seems like, um, Denise, I can't remember Don, if I said, thanks for sharing and Mary, thanks for sharing. Um, Stella, LOL, a bunch of us were up at that time. Exactly. Stella on our team Facebook group, we were like, or I forgot who posted it. Martha, I think was like, is anyone else awake? And everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. I set an alarm. I did not stay up that late. That's not possible for me anymore. Um, yes, 1 a.m. Zana. That's what time it went live in Texas. It's midnight mountain time. So wherever people lived. Um, trucking along bundle back in stock. I know I didn't even know it went out of stock, but it's back. So don't worry everybody for now. Um, okay. So those new products were released. I've put links everywhere for y'all. They're in the email about 10 times that went out this morning. Um, click here to shop online exclusives, click here to shop. There's tons of new products. I think it's like, 15 or more new products. I can't remember for sure. Um, stamp sets, punches, etc. And then uh, even they brought, which were not available before refills for uh, the scoring blade for our paper trimmer, where it goes $6 US for two of them. That's in my online store. Um, of course, the trucking along bundle, which I ordered today, it'll be here tomorrow. Um, it's an adorable truck uh, punch and stamp set and a bunch of other stuff. So all of that is available now, but it's while supplies last. You guys have got to remember that. We can't be upset. I've been telling you it's while supplies last for about six months. <laughs> um, so we can't be upset, but we do have to rush. And it is, of course disappointing if it's not in our budget right now um the stamp the bundle is still available as far as i know knock on wood when i went live everything was still available not even showing low and um i predict that they'll get more punches in if it goes out because they probably knew that was going to be very popular and that might be why it hasn't sold out yet because they knew when they ordered a bunch Just something weird onto tv <laughs> um anyway Okay, my phone is very loud over there. Um, okay, so we have the bonus, the online exclusives. Then we have the bonus days coupon. So in the month of July, 2023, for every $50 you spend on demonstrator order, customer order, any kind of order besides your paper pumpkin subscription, you get $5 coupons to spend next month. Um, so there's no limit. And it just, you'll get an email as soon as you close out an order with your coupons, codes, you know, it's codes. So save those emails. Um, I just always personally search that subject line when I'm ready to redeem my coupons. And I copy and paste all the coupon codes into a Word document. And then I copy and paste that into my order in August. But you can do it however you want, but save those emails. Don't delete them. Some people make a folder for the emails, whatever. Um, but there's no limit. You can get, Every time you order this month, um, you will get those coupons. It started today, by the way, not yesterday or before, but starting today through July 31st. So that's the bonus days coupons. Stampin' Up! added new items to the clearance rack. There's tons of cool things on there. Of course, now that one I did not check before the video what has already sold out. I looked at it at 1 a.m. Uh, and looked at everything, and I haven't looked at it since then. And then there's a paper pumpkin sale also today and tomorrow only for our paper pumpkin subscribers. Um, lots of past kits, add-ons, um, and kit, I forgot what they call the other thing, kit, <laughs> I forgot the word, but it's like, uh, oh, kit refills. There, a lot of those are discounted for our subscribers. So if you have any questions on any of that, let me know. Janet, my earrings. I almost always get my earrings from the most amazing store ever, Old Navy, <laughs> which I know is weird, but these are from Old Navy. Let me show them properly. Um, 
because I have like a weird taste and I have to wear the kind like this because my ears are like the holes are all stretched out so I can't wear studs they look stupid like one over here and one over here um and I'm just real picky and I don't anyway so Old Navy seems to always have a a style that will work for me I do have to go in store usually versus online I hope that's a tip <laughs> thanks Janet um Zana's crying. Ah, good. Is my kept falling out and got lost? Good. Scoring blades. Yes, Zana. I know. I'm really glad they did that. Uh, brought those to us as well. Hey, Deborah. Good morning, Zana. Thanks for sharing, by the way. Um, Cindy got her order in at 1 a.m. Yes. All right. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, Shirley, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Okay. So, I think I said all the specials. Now I'm going to point the camera down and I have some of the stuff that's on special. I have some other stuff to show y'all. It's like random stuff I've collected. It's not really random, but if you know what I mean, it'll look really random. And I don't even know how it's going to look because I hooked up this camera two seconds before I clicked go live. So here we go. Point it down. Um, Yeah, it's not even lined up, but I'll fix it. Okay, so... I... Where will I start? I'll start here with online exclusives. I have shown this already on previous videos um, in stages and whatever. So, but um, these are the products I have and own now. More for me are coming tomorrow, but I don't have them yet, obviously. So I did a video last week where I made these three cards with the Timeless Charm Bundle. Well, this is, you can buy it now. It's available today. Everyone can purchase it. By the way, um, demo to demo tip, and this may apply to customers too. I finally decided the way I'm going to keep up with online exclusives is a little pink sticker <laughs> because this is more of a demonstrator thing. But um, like if I decide, oh, I'm going to use this in my video tomorrow, for example, um, I see the sticker and I'm like, oh, it's an online exclusive. That means it's while supplies last. Let me go to my online store and see if it's still available or if it's sold out. That way I didn't use something that I knew was sold out already. Um, I had them kept separately in a drawer, but then I was forgetting to look and use them. So now I can put them with everything else. But the pink sticker will tell me, make sure it's still available, Jennifer. Make sure it didn't sell out. So that's just my little system that I'm going with, but that will allow me to store these with my current stamps, current dies, current designer papers, whatever it is. Okay, so as a reminder, here are the samples I made with Timeless Charm Bundle, which you can get today. Everyone can purchase it today while supplies last. I love these stamps and the stamp set, those watercolor wash images. Okay, so there's Timeless Charm, and then we have Um, the horse and sleigh bundle. It's actually kind of a whole suite. So within this suite, uh oh, this paper landed. <laughs> it's borrowed for this video because we used a ton of it for our team meeting this month. Um, for their make and takes. So she loaned me some paper. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Um, so it's kind of a whole suite where you can get all of these products, I think, in one item code, but they're all sold separately as well. So there is the uh, bundle, Horse and Sleigh, which I know I've shown already and gone through the descriptions of this, but um, it's available now. You can buy it. Um, gorgeous. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more with this one. Um, photopolymer stamp set and dies and then the gorgeous one horse open sleigh six by six designer paper it's got the scenes and the patterns it's definitely great also for a masculine paper in addition to winter and holiday it's not really only one sheet is kind of specifically holiday it's that one that's my favorite one by the way this pack might be missing one design this one is holiday because the door is decorated and it's got Christmas lights. But like the rest, they work for holiday, but you could use it just in general. Like I said, masculine uh, and winter. So it's gorgeous paper. Um, while supplies last, while supplies last, while supplies last. 
And then these snowflakes. Sorry, I'll put this back for my friend Landa. Um, in fact, I'm not looking at today. Um, okay, and then with this sweet, the my pink dot, the adhesive back snowflake assortment. So copper, gold, and white, two sizes, gorgeous, shiny, love them, love them. And then I have these samples here that we did at my team meeting. Where are they? Right here. So I'll show those real quick. Of course, every month my team meetings uh, offers optional make and takes that people can add on. They do not have to do that. It's completely optional, but it's a really inexpensive class you can get. I'm trying to be not me. This one. Um, it's an inexpensive class that you can get. And then as a team member, you can use it in your own classes for personal use, whatever you want. Um, quick question, Lori. Do demonstrators get the coupons? Heck yes, Lori. I stocked up on a bunch of coupons today when I placed my personal order for the new online exclusives and some other stuff I had been waiting until today until the coupons start. Demonstrators always qualify for customer specials, which is an amazing thing Stampin' Up! does. A lot of companies exclude them and their consultants, whatever. From that, we are not excluded. We get host benefits of, with our own orders. We qualify for coupons, celebration, everything. Kat's saying hi to you guys again. Um, so yes, I got my coupons and you would too if you were a demo. Now the starter kit doesn't get coupons or celebration or any of that, but say hi, Brittany. Okay. Hi. Um, but other than that, once you start ordering and uh, just to clarify, if you are a demonstrator, you cannot purchase the starter kit. <laughs> I had a lot of questions about that last um, or when we had the special last month. Okay, so these samples use the horse and sleigh bundle. Um, very simple samples, fun folds in a lot of them, but not like you don't see us stamping and die cutting out the sleigh and stuff. We'll do that kind of stuff at a, a future class. Just very simple, easy cards. And then this was a bonus inspiration card. We stamped but did not die cut out. So there are some ideas for you love this bundle and then i've got some random product here to show it's has nothing to do with this cards i'm making today um okay so i was making a team incentive class yesterday and using what was i using what's it called um oh, i'm blanking out on the name i already put it away the um gorgeous made I think it's called with the masterfully made paper anyway and I use these flowers some of these flowers from this amazing set of dyes y'all have to get paper florist dyes so I use these on some of their cards of course I pre-cut it for y'all don't worry um anyway the main thing I wanted to say was I was like what is this for it looks like the fringe from the birthday balloons but it's tiny and so I cut it out and I laid it there and I was like, well, it's kind of short. Like it, it's not even four and four inches long. So like to go across a card, but it can be fringe totally. I'll see what it does. But then I went on Pinterest and I looked and looked and looked and looked until I finally found someone that showed me, which I don't know who it was, but I found a pen that showed me. It's a, a flower center. So you just fold it up. <laughs> I mean, curl it up. This is very burst because those were. That was one of the colors I was using yesterday. I did not end up using this on their projects, by the way, but it's just the center. It's so cute. So if you are like me and didn't know or didn't even know these existed, paper florist, they're amazing. Um, very easy to use. I just used this one. So I stacked all four flowers and then used this little guy as the center. And did I do a leaf? Oh, I did the leaves from the other bundle that I was using. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. Um, I do intend to use these more in the future. Just haven't gotten them worked in yet. I wanted to show you that. And then this one, when I was making the cards with the typewriter, <laughs> the type 
just my type stamp set. Um, someone set, suggested the circles in the Reach for the Stars bundle to cut out the hello. Mm -hmm. Cat thinks my phone smells real good. Um, so I got this bundle finally and I tested it. So first of all, this is the punch I use, the old three-fourths inch, cir inch circle punch. And I want to show you, it's like the tiniest bit larger than the smallest circle here. So this is a tiny bit less than three-fourths of an inch. Um, it did work, but as you can see, that's not a perfect. So I would need to align it better, stamp first, then align. I mean, you could try stamping onto the die cut piece as well. Anyway, I just wanted to report back, but I also didn't really realize there were this many circles in here. So pretty cool. And then this, I think I was going to show where I had die cut that out, but I guess I lost it. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, here it is. But it's like an oval, but it's the rings. So it embosses rings in case you didn't know this. That's all I'm saying. So this will be the same. So it's not a bunch of single ovals. It's one big, like the rings of a planet. All right, reach for the stars. I haven't stamped with it yet or anything like that. I just wanted to give pass on the information. All right, let me check the comments and I'm gonna have to get the cat down and I'm going to tell y'all about the Let's Go Shopping Bundle. <laughs> You're welcome, Ro. Yes. Okay. Um, Janet says, hi, Britt, you are so beautiful. You hear that? You hear that? Um, okay. Zana says it's on my next order. Roll it for the middle flower. Yes. Hot glue if you can. Definitely. Um, let's see. There is a tool called a quilling tool. Ooh, that's true, Janet. I forgot about quilling tools. I, heard, I learned about that a long time ago and forgot. Like one of my friends told me. Cat wants to be crafting. Yes. Who said that? Facebook user. Dorothy. Very true. Um, Zana says it's an amazing die set. Curl. Cindy shared. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if she will stay down. Now she's just like fully laying down up here, y'all. But we need. Oh, she's mad. We need to stamp. Okay. Not biting me. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go shopping bundle. It's actually a. a collection in the catalog there is a coordinating designer paper called lay shops and something else of course that goes with that sweet or collection we call them collections now let's go shopping is on page let's go 31 in that annual what else loose silver sequins loose silver sequins um okay so so the stamp set is photo polymer. You have 19 stamps. I believe these are actual size um, pictured on the front of the case. Yeah, actual size. Um, so quick description for all my customers that need that for visual impairment. Um, so there's two parts of a building, the bottom portion, like a storefront, basically, and a top portion, two separate stamps. So you can do it with or without the top. You can add the top as many times as you want, make a really tall building. <laughs> um, the top, the bottom is a little less than two inches tall. The top portion, like the attic or I don't know what you call these in business buildings, but it's about one inch tall. And then they're both about two and a half wide. So the bottom one has a large window. So you can see what they're selling, uh, like curved at the top. I don't know what the name of that shape is, but flat at the bottom, curved at the top. And then a door with the same kind of door window glass um, curved at the top, a little mail slot and a, like a sign hanging on it, but you can't read. There's just like some lines where the words would be little scribbles. Um, there's like a decorative kind of roof. Then the top portion, or let me see if anyone says what to call that. <laughs> it's spoiled, kitty. Um, whatever, the it's not roof, but the second story. Let's call it that. The second story has three of those 
curved half moon kind of windows and just the same kind of roof. Okay, so we have that. Then to put it in the window, there's uh, two images with shelves. One has books on it and one has pastries on it. So two shelves, two rows of books or pastries. Then there is like a marquee or a sign. It's just a rectangle with double lines, rectangle around it, um, really thin lines. By the way, this is all thin pinpoint thickness line art that you can color in. Um, so this could be a sign on top of the building, in front of the building, et cetera. And there's words to stamp inside. There is a three light hanging pendant light image, one stamp, one image, three lights that fit in these top windows. I've also used the one of the lights as a single light down here in this window. Um, you can also duck at these out and stuff. But anyway, um, there is a sidewalk chalk sign image that's super cute. Again, it just has little lines drawn where the words would be. There's a little potted plant, a little um, two chairs, a table, and a menu sitting on the table that fits perfectly inside the window. There's like a stained glass half moon that you can put in the top of this large window. And then last but not least, the greetings. We have good luck. You are such a sweet treat. Bakery, cafe, hello, books. Let's get together. Happy birthday. Wish you were here. It's, I think it's an amazing set. And it's just like, um, like it's just different. Like, you know, like, do we necessarily need us to make a card with like a bakery on it? Maybe not, but it's super cute and I love it. Um, okay. So yeah, you guys are just saying upstairs, second story, flat upper apartment. I was thinking that too, that, it, you know, a lot of these buildings, because I live in like, not where these kind of buildings are <laughs> where I live. But um, yeah, it's like people can live above those in, in towns. Okay, so there's that. And then the dies, amazing. We have dies to cut out basically. Well, I was going to say every image, but that's not true. But both buildings, um, the, the inside of all four windows, the inside of the door window, two different sign dies one that matches the large rec larger rectangle it's not large it's uh just larger than the other one it's one in three fourths by like less than half an inch tall um and then a shorter one than that for the like sign books hello cafe etc um you can cut out the plant they actually have two for the potted plant two dies one for the marquee or uh, not marquee but sidewalk sign like a chalk sign you can die cut out the three lights okay i think that's it for stamped images then there's a bench a light post some greenery that can go around the corner of the building um and i think that's it and then you can do funny not funny but things where you instead of our die cutting out the stamped images you're die cutting windows to see through and stuff with these existing dies. So anyway, there you go. Hopefully that's helpful. 18 dies there. Then the designer paper, I should have already showed this on a, a video when the whole new catalog came out. So I'll go through this quickly, but it's called Lace Shops, L-E-S-S-H-O-P-P-E-S. -S -S. And it's got a ton of colors in it. Black, I mean, balmy blue, basic black, Cajun craze, Calypso coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie, Shaded Spruce. Okay, so we have stripes, and then um, several of them have buildings on the back, but I will warn you, there's only like a couple of images that these dies can cut out on these buildings. This is all I have left of this stripe design. Um, this one has books and like, I think, hold on, sorry books and i believe this is like paint and flowers it's just a uh <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? a variety um background a yellow pattern this one is one that can be used as a sidewalk or street but it's like these half moon repeated little almost like brick patterns in gray granite or i mean pebbled path or gray granite i forgot which color but anyway it's like a gray um, 
they just overlap each other half moon half moon half moon little bricks within them it's really cute then the back of that one has a bunch of food images <laughs> pretty large ones you know considering so like a half a loaf of bread is one and a fourth by one and a fourth there's ice cream cones there's a bowl of um, some kind of noodles I don't know what meal this is noodles and I think meat ham sausage in a bowl and a fork and those are just spread all over you can hand cut them out there's no dyes but they are not touching oh and this thing it's like a pastry I have no clue what kind of pastry it looks like a little cookie with a big thing of icing on top like a dollop of icing okay I'm sure there's correct names for this stuff I just don't know um then I have this piece I cut one of the buildings out of that design but this is one of the ones with buildings all over it I'm actually using this one on one of my cards today so the photo I took has this building the sample I'm going to make is going to have this building today but there's like clothing stores um art stores uh Asian restaurant and these little potted plants in between again these are all separate so you can cut them out you have to hand cut most of the buildings. I don't remember which ones match the dice, but this little potted plant matches the die. So that's cool. Then, if y'all are not bored to death yet, another sheet. Oh, I forgot to look at the back. Sorry. A nice blue tile almost pattern, like a fancy roof ceiling tile or floor tile. Beautiful with all the blues. Okay, um, this one, more buildings. One's like a, almost like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a buffet, but on the street. Um, it's open to the street. See, there's the floor right there with the tiles I was just talking about. Maybe it's not in the street. Maybe it's inside a restaurant. I don't know. But it's like noodles and stuff. Um, a candy, an ice cream shop, a bakery. Those are, yeah, I said them all. Then in between, they have these little chalk board sidewalk signs that guess what fit the die so amazing um all separate images you can cut out and then just a nice um more but again it's like the floor pattern so I guess this can be a fancy floor tile floor but um just a pattern on the back with coral and blues lots of white really pretty and then the last one is the it's like blue almost like a sky background balmy blue with white distressing on it or like you sponge white to make it look like a sky but then printed is three rows of white buildings just all side by side like a, a neighborhood i mean not a neighborhood but a city street of stores um different designs and stuff nothing in the windows so they could be any store you want and then the back is these tiny 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 basically of all of the buildings I've described and I don't really know how to use this one to be honest in a, I haven't looked for it that someone else used it cute in something like on Pinterest I don't know anyone seen that let me know hey Zana thanks for sharing ringed donut girl I don't know I have a clue if that's a ringed donut maybe so uh, let me check those comments I know a writer who would love the bookstore idea. Exactly, Susan. And lots of people love to read. I read. I'm not like an avid love it reader, but I have, I'm like you, I have lots of friends who love to read. So that is, that is um, definitely a cool thing that it has reading in it. You could give it to kids, you know, in school, all that stuff. Okay. Um, I love the paper and colors. Yes, Stella, me too. And it's very versatile. Those patterns can be used with other stuff as well. Um, okay, so this class, I like kind of for, totally forgot to mention this part, but um, this is my free class that I'll be showing y'all today for the month. Oh, and I forgot to mention another die in here. Um, this is my free class. Uh-oh, my camera just froze up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is my free class for... July 2023. So when you place an order with me of $25 or more using the monthly host code in my online store, lots of you have done that already this morning. Thank you very much. 
um, you will get this class packet to make four cards using the Let's Go Shopping bundle. And it's going to be the four cards I show you today. I'm going to make three and show you the fourth one. Um, if that order is 50 or more, you will also receive a free full pack of the Ombre Matte Decorative Dots. And if that order is 150 or more, you get all those gifts from me. But then in that case, don't use the host code. Stampin' Up! will additionally give you um, at least $15 in free merchandise. And you'll get the gifts from me. So it's a great deal. Okay, my camera is behind again. Hopefully it's not going to be delayed too much, but it is delayed a tiny bit. Um, okay, so these are the ombre matte decorative dots, free with a $50 order. Class packets free with $25, both with $50. Any questions, let me know. This is kind of how your class packet will look, except we will not perfectly hand cut out your designer paper pieces. That will be loosely cut around and you'll hand cut it out. Um, and I forgot to mention these dies. So the last two, I forgot to mention it's two dies, and I'm using them on this first card that make a um, blank out on that word. Uh, my camera's back. Yay. It goes over the window. Darn it. I know the word because I had to think of it when I typed my bingo instructions. Awning, the window awning. And it's like a half moon shaped awning. So you'll see that on this first card. Oh, I forgot to mention those. So one solid and one has stripes on it. All right, so let's look at card number one. Card number one. Oh, and by the way, though, I'm sorry, I'm a hot mess today. I just wanted to show I have a new bag for my adhesive kits. So if you order an adhesive kit for me now, it comes with all this stuff inside. It's $44 and it includes this bag. It's a zipper. <laughs> It's clear so you can see what you got. You can fit a lot more stuff in it besides the adhesive that comes with it. And yours won't have prices written all over it. I just threw this together as a sample from my cash and carry adhesive. Um, but that's my new cash and um, adhe <laughs> adhesive kit. Um, and then my husband has started making Cindy is Cindy uh, Owen is the one who gave me the take your pick tool holder and my husband has started making more in the stamp therapist pink. So those will be available for 15, uh, $12 if you are interested in that. And it holds all of the current and new little take your pick tool things. So if you want that, let me know. Um, but this you can usually add on to my classes or if you just want one individually, reach out to me and I'll get you a, a link to pay for that. Okay. Number one, let's start over. Um, so we have a Calypso Coral card base. Check these comments. <laughs> Yay. Canopy. Thank you, Sue. Book gift card, definitely with the books. Uh, images in this set. Yes, yes. Clever hubby, haha. <laughs> He got a, himself a three. At Christmas, we basically each bought ourselves something. He got a 3D printer and I got a silhouette to do vinyl. <laughs> so there you go. But he's the one doing the vinyl for me. Even though I bought the machine, like, quote, for me, he has more time to research. And he did the vinyl on all of these bags, by the way. Okay. Calypso Coral Car Base, five and a half, eight and a half. It is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock cut in half. This will be a landscape direction card. I'm going to set that aside. And don't forget, by commenting on the video today, you will have a chance to win these three cards I'm going to make today. Just by commenting on YouTube or Facebook, on replay or uh, live right now. Um, okay, so in your packet, this is not going to be there. And this... These two pieces will not be all cut out nice and neat for you. These are from the designer paper. It's uh, one of two buildings that we will use. Oh, where's my sample? Right here. So when I show my sample, it has the other building. So you'll either get this one or the other one. And then you'll get we'll loosely cut around one of these plants. You can hand cut out the plant or die cut it out. Fits that die perfectly. 
Um, and you can, uh, you have to hand because the buildings, they don't fit the dies, the ones I'm using. Then you'll have a scrap of Daffodil Delight, which you can die cut or hand cut, depending on if you own these dies. Just hand cut a little scrap of it and glue it behind the light post, which is die cut for you in basic black. Um, now, I personally die cut that again in Daffodil Delight to be able to uh, just glue this together. Okay, then we'll have a Misty Moonlight solid window awning and then the basic white detail window awning to go on top. So it makes a striped half moon shaped window awning. Although actually you don't need that for the design I'm using. It's for, what is it for? Oh, well, maybe it, it is for this card. You won't need it on the other one, but we'll give it to you probably anyway. I don't know. Maybe not if for that card. You won't need it. Only for this design. Sorry. Um, a pre die cut basic white stylish shapes dies banner. That one. Or those dies. A pre die cut pebbled path bench. A, by the way, all the measurements will be on my blog. Let me put my info up here. Blog stamptherapist.com. Today at 11 a.m. Central, all these measurements you need will be on there. So misty moonlight to go on the front and then a piece of pebbled path. I think it's like one inch tall of that sort of sidewalk or street image, the gray one. Okay, so for our stamping, we are going to stamp on this misty moonlight cardstock and of course the white for our greeting. Grab a scrap paper. papers are always used because of course they're reusable but this one got real wrinkled up okay um this is one of our grid papers i think it's still available i think i think I'm getting a bunch of stamps <laughs> because you can kind of stamp this background however you want. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I actually didn't mount all of the stamps. I think it's fine. But you could even use the um, books one on this card if you want. You can really use a bunch, even the, the chair. So let me show you how. We're going to make a background on this Misty Moonlight cardstock with Misty Moonlight ink. You could also use Versamark ink if you did not own whatever color you're using. Versamark will give you a watermark look. But I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to start by uh, with the bottom portion of the building. And actually, let me grab my sidewalk piece. And I'm going to use that. I don't remember what I did as a guide. So what I did, this designer paper is going to get glued at the very bottom flush to the Misty Moonlight. So I set it there, but then scooted it down a tiny bit and made a pen mark. You can use a pencil, but if you go down low enough, that will get covered up when you glue this on. I'll show you what I mean. Pen, pen, pen. Once I glue this down, that'll be covered up. That's going to tell me where to stamp the building. It's approximate, don't stress. Okay, so tap, 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 don't press hard. Nice and gentle. I'm going to hang this off the edge a little bit on the left. And stamp it. And then I'm going to stamp it two or three more times to the right. Now, a lot of this is going to actually end up getting covered up. So it's two more times. So we'll just get a portion here on the right. Um, you'll kind of be able to see how much you're covering, depending on how you lay the card out. I'm going to put this to the left. So um, for me, I don't need to bother stamping anything in this window, but I will stamp something in this window. So again, you could do books or the chair 
and tables or the bakery, which is what I'm going to use because that's what I have mounted here. And I did not stamp anything in the window on my first card because I forgot. And later, after it was all glued together, I was like, duh, you could have done that. <laughs> Hello. Um, then we're going to add the second story. Thank you guys for giving me that word. Second story, apartment, whatever we want to call it, to each one. And then I'm going to put some lights in these, too. I think I'll just put lights in this middle one. These lights here, these little, what do I call them? Can lights or something hanging from the ceiling, a little string. And then actually what I did on my other card is I stamped the stained glass in this window. So it's not going to fit there now. Good. I'm not going to bother stamping it here because that I'll stamp it for y'all to see but it'll get covered up. But like, see how you can make just a really cute background with this stamp set, no coloring involved. This could be a card front. Like we don't need all the other stuff. So there we go, background. And then I'm gonna stamp, let's go, let's get together in Misty Moonlight on my white banner. Okay. And I'm gonna clean all these stamps. Take your pick tool holder. Who said that? Where is it? Martha, yes. The issue, well, I think there's levels of, I don't know about this thing, 3D printers. I don't know. But that thing takes about six hours to make one. But it's not like physical labor. It's just the machine working for six hours um, on his machine. I have no clue if there's faster machines. But it's no problem. Like, that just is what it is. And he's starting to produce them. But, yeah. Okay. That was my Simply Chamois. Just rinse it out in water when it gets too much ink in there where it's transferring back to your stamps. Squeeze it till it runs clear, but um, it's going to be stained like this forever. Okay. Um, now, that's it for stamping. We're just going to assemble. So, I mean, this card's really pretty simple. We're using the designer paper to do most of the work here, some die cutting. We're good. Where's my adhesive? Stamp and seal. By the way, let me give Dorothy a shout out. My, I still use this, Dorothy, for these adhesives over here on this table. Uh, I think Dorothy, actually, no, Dorothy gave me this other one. Okay, not Dorothy. I think Mary Ann gave me this one. Can't remember. It was a team member, though. Um, but anyway, that's where I have my, this adhesive for my videos. Okay, so ellipso coral front. Let me attach the buildings and I'll add this designer paper. We don't, do not need a ton of adhesive with stamp and seal. Probably should have glued this before I glued the misty down, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, then I'm going to add my building. So this building that I hand cut out is a clothing shop. It's a shorter building and in the windows, it's like a black background inside the windows and then clothes hanging. And then the door is in the center. There's clothes on either side. It's a more long, like a rectangle shape of a building. So I'm placing it over here toward the left, down a little bit onto the sidewalk a little bit. And um, my camera got slow again. Um, flat. Again, let me grab my silicone craft sheet. I'm going to add adhesive to the back of my, the detail part of the awning. And the silicone craft sheet just keeps excess adhesive from going all over my work surface when I'm putting adhesive on something skinny like this. So, by the way, the bottom of the solid part of the awning is scalloped and then a smooth oval top and then this, these detail lines. 
super cute. So I'm going to place that on here with dimensionals. Again, this will not work on the um, other card. It just looks silly because it's a different building. I'm going to use mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to use that on the awning. This, oh. I'm confused where I was. Yes. Mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll just put two on the back of the awning. And I'm putting it right over the door. So it's just covering up this window above the door. I just think it looks cute. So cute. If you have excess adhesive, by the way, grab your adhesive remover, which one is included in my adhesive kit. <laughs> um, and you can just wipe it away little by little, just little swipes. Okay, Stampin' Dimensionals on my greeting. I'm going to use three because it's sort of long. This Let's Get Together greeting is about two inches long, and it's a cursive, but it's a nice thick cursive. So I'm going to put the greeting up here, top right of the building. And I'm just looking at what it's covering on what I stamped and positioning it based on that. Each card is a tiny bit different from each other. Okay, I'm placing the bench flat. Again, silicone craft sheet. And I'll just place it over here to the bottom right of the building. And then... Put adhesive on the back of my light post and the Daffodil Delight piece to go in the light post. So you can use liquid glue. You can use whatever you want when you are doing. So I'm doing this one a little different. Let's see how it looks than my other card. Um, when you're gluing these tiny pieces, it's whatever works for you. Liquid glue does not work for me very well. Uh, you can use glue dots, like whatever you like when you're using your stuff. I just like the silicone craft sheet and my regular tape runner. Up to you. And then this little plant. Use a, uh, I think I'll use two dimensionals because it is designer paper. So it's thin. So one at the top, one at the bottom. It's a potted plant. Ooh, I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, down on the right, a little in front of the light post. That's the finished card. That's it. Nice and simple. We just did, did do some die cutting and hand cutting out. I mean, I guess it's not super simple if you're doing all that yourself. <laughs> um, but it has a simple look. And then here's the second building. So you see it's a taller one, so it's taller and skinnier, so you see more of your stamping. Um, I had more space because it's skinnier to spread out and not overlap the potted plant, the light post, and the bench, etc. So there you go. Two options. When you receive this free class from me, which will be mailed in August, you might get this building and you might get this one. So if you get this one, no awning will be included. If you get this one, an awning will be included. All right. I'm going to make myself a sticky note. I have to take a photo of this one before I give it away. All right. That is card number one. Let me see. Who came on? What happened? Uh, Melissa in Crossroads. Love this paper. Always enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. Um, Tommy. Terry, I'm glad. Ooh, Pendant Lights. Who said that? Pendant Lights. Mary Ann, thank you. I still use my holder for Mary Ann, too. Yes, I love this suite of products. Adorable card, cute card, cute. So cute. Thank you guys very much. Okay, card number two. I'll put the supplies over here for some reason today. Okay, here's card number two. Card two is um, pretty simple. I, well, maybe not. I don't know what I'm saying. It looks pretty like the final result is not a crazy card, but there are some steps here. Okay, so we have a basic white card base. 
five and a half by eight and a half. Fold that in half with the bone folder. Just align the two corners on the table um, and rest it against your thumbnail to make sure it's even and then fold with the bone folder. You'll have less wrinkles on the inside that way. This will be up and down portrait style design card. Then our next layer is going to be Calypso Coral for, well, the measurements will be on the blog. I think it's four and one eighth. I can't remember. Four and one eighth, five and three eighths. Um, this has been embossed with the exposed brick embossing folder. When you put your card together, you can use whichever side you think looks cutest for the front, but I'm going to use this side. Let me grab that exposed brick and remind you it's a six by six embossing folder. It's a 3D, so it's one of the thick ones, and it's amazing. Little, like much smaller bricks than our old one, which nothing wrong with the old one. They're just smaller. Okay, I have a piece of the designer paper that has buildings on one side and the Calypso coral and uh, white and, and dark coral stripes on it with lots of distressing. Um, I have the stripes going up and down, and this is a rectangle that will go up and down on the card uh, portrait style. Then they don't, I don't think they list petal pink as a color in this designer paper, but I feel like it's petal pink, which it's a light Calypso coral. I never really noticed that Calypso coral and petal pink go together really well. I didn't put two and two together, but they do. So I've pre die cut a label. From petal pink with the of course must have nested essential dies. This is the largest of the rectangle shape that has the rounded corners and stitch marks. This is the largest one. That's the nested essential dies. So that's the largest one. Petal pink that'll go on there up and down as well. And then I have two pieces of herringbone ribbon. They are I think I wrote it down four and a fourth inches each cut in an angle on one end and we'll see how I use that at the time and then I have a scrap of basic white and then a specific one and one eighth square of white and a one and a fourth square of calypso coral to layer on that so those are the, the two white pieces are the ones I'm going to stamp on Let's see these comments hey Marcia why don't I just come to Colorado and we can create together, right? <laughs> yes, Terry. I'm so happy I got my order in this morning for the trucking along bundle. Nice. Yes, Julie. Matches your truck. Oh, nice, Julie. Yes, yeah, same. I got my order in as well. Um, and knock on wood, it's... I'm not looking for my stamps. Knock on wood, it's not sold out yet, but I was nervous too. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to use Memento Black ink on this card. A couple of stamp. Oh, I'm also going to use Calypso Coral ink on this card. And I'm looking for the stamps I need. The lights. Okay, so the stamps I want for this card. I missed one. Hold on. Okay, it's the rectangle double lines around the edges that fits the sort of label die. The words, I'm going to put happy birthday. I'm going to use the pendant lights. Is that what you called them, Marianne? No, I forgot already. I think pendant lights um, image, the three. And then the bakery. So it's actually on this one, it's like two shelves with cakes and breads on them but there is a line above as well so there's three lines total the books only have two lines for shelves i don't know why okay so this big white one is a scrap and i am going to stamp the rectangle image and then i'm going to put happy birthday inside so my advice I mean, not my advice. My instructions for Landa are going to be to just give you this scrap of paper. And if you don't own these dies, you can hand cut that out because I am unable to physically stamp that frame inside this after it's pre die cut. 
it's very difficult. So y'all might be better than me, but you can easily hand cut that out if you don't have the dies. And then you only need three lights. But I'm going to stamp it twice because they were a little challenging for me to die cut out. So if we die cut it out twice, you can hand cut as well, of course. Die cut it out twice, you'll end up with three good lights. Hopefully, knock on wood. <laughs> and then on this little square, this is not a scrap like the, these can be crooked and all. This is specific. We want the cakes and calypso coral. So where are they? And actually, I probably should throw my scratch paper under there real quick, just in case. Um, so just center it top to bottom, left to right. I'm calling it the cakes, but there's like bread, I think, too. I, honestly, I guess that's bread on the bottom row. I mean, I know that's bread, but these three round ones. There's a pie and two cakes. Or they might be called something else. I don't know. French pastries, perhaps? This is stamp set has a French name. Um, okay, so that's our stamping. Now let's do our die cutting. Got my family cut and emboss machine. Bring this guy up. I recommend hand cutting these images apart before die cutting. We don't want to put yucky, ugly impressions in the paper we're not die cutting. And we want these, if they're on a separate die, we want them on separate pieces of paper so that the dies don't touch. We can modify the paper without modifying the whole sheet, etc. cetera. Um, of course, the image stamps all three pendant lights at one time. And then the die cuts out all three at one time. And then, of course, we have the rectangle here. I'm going to get the readers. This definitely might be a situation where you want to get out your tape, washi tape, sticky notes, wash, sticky note tape, etc. There are three holes in the top of this die. They are not to poke the paper out. They are to align the stamped image through the holes. But I'm just saying, like, it's fine. It's fine, but I was challenged with aligning this die. Hopefully, I'll do real good today. It's not, I'm just saying it's a me thing. Not like it's difficult and this is a problem. Sometimes I have like depth perception issues. Actually, if all three of these are good though, whew, they are. So I'll just use these three. But you have the other three in case, which I did have to use on my first card. Don't worry. I had to use them. And then just my little marquee banner, whatever. I guess it's a banner on this card. Okay. And a lot of text today or notifications that feel like a text on my watch. I can't tell really. Maybe that's why my phone is, my camera is slow. <laughs> Martha Marcia says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up next to live chat. Yes, please. And thank you. That is on, um, what do you call it? On YouTube. Several interruptions. Definitely watching replay. Background for the cupcake in the circle sayings, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, there's a really pretty, I'm looking for these in my readers. There's a really pretty cupcake stamp in circle sayings. I agree, Zana. Okay, so I probably should have colored these before I cut them out because it would be a lot easier. You can just, <laughs> this is what happens when you're not careful, like uh, gentle with your brush tip in, but don't worry. I use this in. Um, see, it's just easier, but I'm going to use the Calypso Coral Stampin' Blends. Memento ink is waterproof. Water, not waterproof. It's water-based. And so these are alcohol-based. So it's perfect Stampin' Water-based ink to color with alcohol markers. I have my Calypso Coral, light and dark. They come in a set of two. Perfect. Use the bullet point end. And I just 
at the bottom of the pendant lights is like a double line. So I colored that dark and I'm coloring the top light. Simple, simple. I'm not really even blending. And then I'm also going to use this light uh, Calypso Coral Stamp and Blend just to color the top of the pie, which I don't really think would be coral, but we're going to say it is. It'd be brown, right? <laughs> and the top, well, the top of this cake, the middle one, and then just this dripping down icing on the third cake. And then I forgot I have these other blends to color in. Do I? No, I'm not doing it on this card. I'll do that. Okay, it's on the next card. You could do more coloring if you wanted. I forgot. This one's all coral, all coral. So never mind. You can do as much coloring as you want, though, obviously. Hey Della in North Dakota. Where do I post the winners of my drawings on the video that they won on? I tag them and we we, me and my helpers are always behind on that, Karen. So we haven't posted winners in quite a while, but we always post, eventually give out the prizes and mail them all out, <laughs> the cards. Um, so if you won, you would know. Um, okay, let's put this one together. We are going to, let me first attach my brick, exposed brick. Um, cardstock, colors of coral to the card base, basically. Again, put the side that you want facing out, facing out. Um, and then attach the striped paper right kind of in the center. Don't you don't have to be perfect flat. And um, again, just FYI, stripes are going up and down. Then I think I'm going to build everything on my little petal pink rectangle. By the way, I did send this a little crooked. I think it's fine. Um, I'm going to attach this tiny little white square to the tiny or very small coral square. I did also add clear wink of Stella to, I'll keep having to get the glasses back out, <laughs> the readers, um, to the cake icing. This is just a glitter pen. If you don't have one, order it now. It's amazing. And if you order one, please message me if you don't know how to use it the first time. There is steps involved and you can make a hot mess if you don't do it correctly so message me and i'll tell you how if you order this like if you've never used it before obviously okay um hard to see on a video but it adds glitter it's just really pretty in person some people i know add it to everything <laughs> okay now dimensionals on our three lights our square and our greeting Come on. I just like the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I would use them no matter what size the project was. I'm gonna get another sheet. Um, but they do work really well for small projects like this. And I will use these edges, um, but I'm just using these full ones right now just to show you how they work really well for these. However, I think they're too big. I think they're too big. Yeah. I mean, let me look close up. I mean, let's see. You know what? I think it's fine. But I got to get another sheet. <laughs> but yes, I will personally use up those edges. Like, that's all I use when I make my class samples because they work <laughs> just as good. I just don't want to take the time to cut right now on this video uh, for this particular card anyway. Um, but to me, mini and large give the same amount of lift. They are equally as tall. 
but you get like 720 mini ones in a pack. So anyway, that's my thing. Oh no. If I have to measure something else, I'll have to get a different ruler. <laughs> so I just knocked that one to the floor. Not even the cat's fault. I think she went to sleep. Okay. Nope. Backing was not pulled off of that dimensional. Okay, so on the bottom of my die cut label rectangle here, I'm mean, not on the bottom, but toward the bottom portion, I'm going to place the little cakes and pies and stuff. Toward the top, I will place the happy birthday label banner or whatever you want to call it. And then I'll start with the center light and just tuck it under happy birthday a little bit, then go right and left. So lighting up all your treats for happy birthday. <laughs> Trying to match these. So I'm not pressing real hard on these lights yeah, until they're where I want them. Cute. And then I, I have my two ribbons. I'm going to put adhesive on the top. But on the back part, top right, bottom left, on the back. Then I have these two, I'm gonna read the measurement again, four and a fourth pieces of ribbon. I'm gonna fold both of them, sorry, the same way. I'm gonna be basically bring the bottom one up and the fold will go to the back. It's a little swirl. Stick it behind where you can see the front of the project. So you see if it looks cute. Hold the next one the same exact way. And then give it a turn and it goes on bottom. It's so cute. Sorry, I love doing my ribbon that way. And you would use a, a sometimes you have to add a little more adhesive, sometimes not. You would use way, way, way more ribbon if you did not do it that way. If you just went you can put it to the test, I guarantee. Hey, these dimensionals. <laughs> They're peeling off the, it's just this particular sheet I have. Who knows? Um, it's peeling off the back part when I take it off the sheet. There we go. Okay, so when you attach in this kind of deal with your ribbons like that to the card base, Always make sure you re-secure the ribbon with more Stampin' Dimensionals that touch ribbon and paper both so it secures it down. I have one more on each end in these corners just so it's balanced lift-wise. That's not really helping the ribbon stay in place though. It's the ones that touch the paper also. That will help your ribbon not fall off the card otherwise yeah just trust me okay so this goes right in the center super cute and then when we were doing bingo i think it was me that said it but it could have been somebody else i don't remember but i feel like it was me and i we made our cards and i was like oh they got some of these ombre matte decorative dots which I'm like down to the scraps of these dots. I thought I had a 30 pack. Oh yeah, here it goes. Anyway, but long story short, I was like, oh, I should have put the little tiny ombre dots on the cakes, pies, etc. Let me grab my take your pick tool right here. <laughs> I like to use the pointy end. Um, and I'm going to put what color I want to use. Okay, I'm going to do these three. Uh, they're ombre dots, so literally each row gets lighter to darker, so you can just go with it and use light dark medium, or you can try to use all of one color on one card. Either way, who cares? It's fun. Whoever gets the card is still going to think it's super cute and be amazed that you made it. So that is card number two. Hope you like it.
If you'd like to win it, make sure you comment on this video, even on replay, YouTube, Facebook. Either one gets you entered to win. And now time for card number three. Card three. Ready to show what comes in the vinyl bag. Um, I can show you oops, me trying to put the card out here. I can show you here, Julie. Um, but when you register for my events, it's in the description. It lists every single item, I believe. Um, the cost is exactly the cost of everything here. I don't make a profit on the bag or the ruler, the stuff from Amazon. I don't, I don't mark it up. Um, it's just the cost of the adhesive. So anyway, I give you a stamp and seal, a full one, mini dimensionals because they're my favorite. Again, yours won't be written on. These are my cash and carry box, mini glue dots, mini, uh, sorry, I'm reading multi, the Tombow mono liquid glue tear and tape and then a six inch ruler a sand eraser and a an adhesive remover and i do have some adhesive removers in stock that are smaller than that that are this size so you might get that size as well they work it doesn't matter like i've had this one for years years so that's what's in it but it's listed when you go register for events where it's an add-on so hopefully that makes sense julie Dots on pastries is cute. Thank you, Terry. Yes. Okay, last card, basic, uh, and I'll show you the fourth one. Don't worry for your online order special. This is a free class. Anyone can get free from me with their online order in July 2023. Don't forget, free class. Um, just place your order with the host code. 25 or more gets the packet. 50 or more also gets the ombre dots. Um, okay, this is the third card I'm making today. We have a basic white card base. I'm going to pull out what I don't want to show right away. Okay. Basic white card base, five and a half, eight and a half. Fold it in half. Uh, this will be portrait shape. Then we have a scrap of basic white. It's two and three fourths by eight and a half. By the way, this card's very involved and I have not done the die cutting yet. Warning. Um, then, sorry, I'm putting some things back for Landa for later. Um, then I have for the card front, Calypso Coral. Then a piece of the designer paper. This is one of the ones that kind of looks like a tile design, a white background with the blues and corals, fancy pattern. And yeah, sort of like a very, very fancy tile floor. Like I would imagine it in a fancy bathroom, you know, where I would see it. But anyway, okay, so I have that. Uh, and then I have a piece of misty moonlight cardstock. It is a rectangle. It will go on the card up and down portrait style that has been embossed with the brick and mortar embossing folder. Again, you choose which side you want to face the front of your project. Um, and then a scrap of uh, pecan pie cardstock, and last but not least, a pre die cut basic white label. It is the smaller of the two labels from the lace shop. Oh, let's go shopping dies. I always want to call this bundle lace shops, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on all these three pieces here the white scrap, the label, and the pecan. I need my buildings, both pieces, the sidewalk chalk thing, cakes, lights, which are lost, where are they? Oh, right here. Um, the word bakery. Oh, and I meant to say on that last card, so it says happy birthday. On the front, I just didn't, I have all these notes for us. Um, I did not stamp the inside, but it would be super cute to say you are such a sweet treat on the inside of that card. It's a great coordinating greeting. 
Okay, so on this scrap of white, we're going to stamp each building two times, each building piece, whatever we want to call it, in Memento Black ink. So we need two of the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bigger one, the bottom, two of the bottom, and two of the top. You can press hard on a Memento Black ink pad, in case you forgot, <laughs> unlike our other ink pads. Okay, so they all fit on there like that. And then inside, I'm trying to find my sample. Okay, so we're going to die cut out one of each and hand cut out the other two, which is very simple, I'll show you. So on the hand cut out ones, we're going to stamp more stuff. So I'm going to stamp... The, the pendant lights inside one of the roof or uh, second story and the bakery images inside one of them. So these will be the two that I hand cut out. Pretty, I'm going really low here with the bakery images. Um, I'm looking at my sample. That's all I stamped inside. Then I need pecan pie and misty moonlight ink. Thank you, Mary Ann. She says, loving these colors, all from the designer paper, as y'all know. Okay, bakery. I'm going to go on the little label. It's pretty easy to stamp the words on the labels. It's that frame that I can't do myself. Um, and then the little pecan pie ink, pecan pie paper, it's the sidewalk chalk sign. Okay, so there's all our stamping. And we're going to, of course, die cut out the sidewalk sign. Die cut out two of the buildings, the ones that have nothing stamped inside them. And on the hand cutting, I'm going to cut, oh, I'll do that later so I can explain it better. I mean, you guys will get it, but I'm just going to do it later. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the openings of the small three windows and the building, the opening of the large window and the building and the opening of the door window. And I'm going to do those all at one time and let's hope it works. Because <laughs> it's fine, but when I'm doing it on video, oh, and then this one. When I'm doing it on video, something's going to happen. Okay, so let me get my machine. By the way, clean plate on top, never cut on your top plate. Look how flat mine is. Look how flat it is. So flat because I don't cut on it. I only cut on the bottom. Really on this one, well, no, I've cut on both sides, but I've cut more on this side. You can flip the bottom one if it starts bowing up. Actually, it would bow this way, flip it. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to put these in like I like to, long and skinny. They cut better and there's less chance of shifting. Of course, I always align it on the die cut machine. Because then if I have to pick this whole pick this whole thing up and move it onto the machine, I'm gonna bump and shift stuff. Let me see if I can let me see if I can do two. Also, the closer to going directly into the machine, you can get these to the edge, but not all the way to the edge, less time to shift. And of course, tape them down, sticky notes, washi tape, whatever. Oof, I need the glasses. Getting double lines here. Yeah. Now you can run these through separately, by the way, in, in two steps and cut out these, or three steps or whatever, and cut out these additional parts. Or you can try it all in one.
And sorry, just like aligning right now. I believe I bumped that with my pinky. Okay. Put this top on. Did awesome, a little off center there, but it'll be fine. There's the top and our little sidewalk sign. Okay. And I'm not using the pieces I cut out. They do look like uh, little tombstones, though. So you can repurpose these for Halloween as well in your dies there. Lots of shapes there and sizes um, to make your little graveyard. But, you know, that's not what we're making for the day. Okay, now I'm going to glue these behind. So I'm basically going to cut a little bit above the bottom into the sides and below the top. The same on this one. That's what I was trying to explain earlier. Just kind of inside the stamped lines. And I'll just do this. You don't want to cut it too small because you want room to attach it to your project. And then same deal here. So it can be messy too, which is cool. I'm going to get this a little more generous at the bottom, and then I'll show you how I fix that later on the top upstairs portion. It's a little low, but we'll fix it. Okay, then I'm going to color these images in on the ones where I stamp the cakes and stuff. This is the one I got confused on where I'm coloring more colors. Hey, Mary, you're uh, not on replay, Mary. <laughs> I was going to say, you're actually live. Um, okay, so back out with all these colors and some additional ones. Um, so I've got Misty Moonlight, Light and Dark, Calypso Coral, Light and Dark. And then I have these two natural tone blends, 900 and 300. I put on my blog post, oh, let me see, I think I have it right here on my recipe card. Um, anyway, I put on the blog post and the recipe cards where these came from, which is, now I don't have the numbers written down, but one of them is from Light Combo Pack and one's from Medium Deep Combo Pack. But the long story short is these natural tone blends are great for foods, <laughs> you know, your ice cream cones, your breads, your whatever. Okay, so my lights on this card are going to be Misty Moonlight. Again, I'm just doing light, I mean dark on the thick line at the bottom. Dark and then light on the top part. I'm also going to, on the door, there's a little sign hanging. It's like your open and close sign. I'm going to put dark on those little lines they drew there. And then go over. This is my light misty. Go over that entire sign with light. Now, misty is a pretty dark color to color with anyway. So it's going to be subtle there on the blending. And then light misty on the top of each pendant light. And side note, y'all know me. I'm like starving right now. It's not even, well, it's close. Ooh, this video is long. Okay, no wonder I'm starving. It's 10 minutes till my lunch time. Okay. Then coral again for my cakes. So same as before, light coral on my icings and, and uh, uh, pie. However, this is not a monochromatic coral and white only card. So we're going to add some colors to the breads and cakes and you could go way crazier. I just use these two. So I'm going to use the really light one 
the number 900 down here on the breads. These might be cookies, but I just feel like it's bread. I don't know. If anyone, any, everyone who knows me really well, I don't eat bread anymore. I used to love bread. Anyway, so I'm just like, is that bread or a cookie or what? I don't eat cookies. I don't eat grains. So <laughs> this whole thing. So I'm like, whatever that is that you guys eat. Okay, not 300 is darker. That's going to be my, these are just all going to be brown or chocolate. That's just what I'm doing on the top ones. You could add more colors. You could color the bases of these cakes and pies. Um, there's like a scallop on the bottom of this middle one. That's what I'm coloring with the brown and the bottom of the pie, which is probably the tin, but who knows, whatever. I'm going to add a little bit of coral where I missed a spot. Perfect. So that is all the coloring I'm doing. But you can add more. You can have this class kit free from me. Um, okay, put it together. Sorry. I'm thinking through my steps. I'm going to turn over the two building pieces that are die cut out. And I'm adding dimensionals close to the openings. To stick these two. So I'm not going to the edges. I'm going really close. Hello, kitty. To the openings, but also you can also go to the edges. So balance it out. So like this. Honestly, I don't even know if close to the openings is important now that I'm thinking about it, but you know, let's just do it that way because that's what I said. And then Let's see how wide these are. Gonna, I honestly don't remember what I did the first time, but I know I'll put dimensionals around. And I probably have a photo for my instructions. I tend to take photos like that as I'm making stuff, but who knows? I do not remember. So hopefully you guys get the idea what I'm doing there. And we just peel them off. The thing you don't want to take your stamped image that's all colored in pretty upside down and try to stick it to this, you won't know what you're doing. You leave that on the table and turn this over and align it. Oh, oh I can't see when you do that. You have that opening there. Of course, you get out window sheets, like you can make it really fancy. I did not do that on this one. We used I think we use window sheets on bingo on something. Oh no, we used vellum because I wanted it to be a milky looking through to the restaurant. Yeah, we use the chairs. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm aligning the window openings and this can get cut off, but also it's going to get tucked under the top of the building, this part that's hanging over. So it doesn't really matter. So it's fine. And then you're going to add tape runner adhesive to the raised up part, and you can add a couple more dimensionals where they are needed to balance out the leftover pieces that are lower. Okay. It's so quiet in here today. This is the cutest stamp set. Yes, Joyce. I know that cat does want attention. Now she's over there eating. But when she has food, don't worry. Okay. Um, all right, let's put it together. The rest is pretty quick. Attach the large designer paper to the coral. Attach that to my white card base. I can't believe how long this video is today. <laughs> um, I mean, I've done long videos plenty of times, however. Then I'm attaching the Misty Moonlight piece that's embossed with the brick, exposed brick flat. Then let me add adhesive to the back of the, quote, raised up part of this, these two buildings. And then peel off the backing of the dimensionals I added. Uh, 
Um, on my original card, okay, let me just say bakery is going to go at the top. I have this little guy at the, towards the bottom. Um, so kind of for layout purposes. But on my original card, I feel like I had the building a little low. I want to center it better. So I'm going to bring it up higher. But see how I'm using, sorry, um, both pieces to, to kind of figure out my placement, basically. But then I'm going to stick down the bottom one first and then tuck the top one under. Just lift it up if you need to. And or trim off any part of this that's interfering. No big deal. You can trim it as short as you need to. Yeah, that's centered a lot better than my original. And then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals at the top. Where did I put them? I'll just put one up here at the top of the greeting and some adhesive on the bottom so it can stick to the roof. It says bakery, obviously. So a little bit down onto the roof like that. And then same deal here, some adhesive on my little, actually, I think I pre-stamped one of those. I did, and it looks a lot better. Let me show you closer. <laughs> when I die cut that, it must have slid or I didn't not align it well. Okay, a little adhesive at the top of the sidewalk sign, dimensionals at the bottom. I just have this half a one here. Get it. Uh, doesn't matter. Dimensional at the bottom because it's going to touch the building but hang off onto the bottom. Then we're going to finish it by adding some dots. So I'm running out, and apparently I love the coral color of these ombre matte decorative dots. So I'm just going to use three different colors of ombre here of the coral just like i did on the last card it's just light medium dark who cares it's the same difference nobody's going to notice or think it's weird whatever you do is what you do and by the way i did order more of these dots this morning on my order <laughs> um, and then i did a blue one a small which all i have left is this dark i think this is navy on the little sign that's hanging in the door like a little nail there nail head whatever oh and i did not i don't know why i didn't add wink of stella to this the first time but let me add some wink of stella to the cake because why not there we go card number three lots of dimension i like this one a lot better than the first one just real quick oh, i don't have it written on any of those well never mind i was going to tell you these colors i think it's old olive Calypso Coral, Night of Navy, and Coastal Cabana on these dots. They're, I love them. They match a lot of Stampin' Up's current papers and stuff. Um, okay, so here are the cards. Let me do it this way. The one I made previously, that's this one because it's lower. See how it's a lot better centered like that, a lot better. So I need to photo that one too, but I'll give it away. <laughs> um, anyway, there you go. All right, so this is the free class. Here. I'm gonna put photo two cards. Okay, I did wanna mention, I pointed this out at the very beginning that you can cut out the designer paper sidewalk sign and it would look so cute on this card, but because of how I'm using the designer paper in this class, I would not have enough to give everybody one. Therefore, I will be giving you pecan pie cardstock, but look how cute the coloring is on this one if you have the designer paper. So cute. And then I did one in uh, just craft white ink on black that's not heat embossed, craft white ink on black cardstock. Lots of cute ways to do the chalk. You could even hand cut out the middle section where the writing is and glue another color on top like the black 
on top of these. Ooh, that would be really cute, actually. I have several of these black ones somewhere. Hold on, let me look. Where did I put it? Stamped a bunch, but I don't know where I think, 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 hold on. Maybe in here, look at all these scraps from rejected things I did. Yes, okay, I guess I cut them out, not right here. See, knew it. Let's see what it looks like. Just out of curiosity. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to add a piece of black to y'all's packet. Okay, grab that silicone. Where is it? It's over here. I'll just use it off the camera. I'm going to add a piece of black cardstock to your packet so you can do that. What do we think? What? When, oh. Cindy, I guess that's a second different person asking when I announce the winner of the cards. Um, I am so busy that that's one thing in my business. I don't give myself a deadline. We, my helper helps me and we just do a bunch when we can. And so um, it's not on a schedule <clears throat> and how we announce it is not a big thing. We just post it, but we tag the person in the video and say, hey, Julie, you won the cards for this week. And then I mail them. And if I need the address, I message the person. So that's how I do it. Um, and we are currently pretty behind on that. I'm just saying. Um, not funny, but that's how we do it. Okay, so I think that's super cute. Also, the designer paper would also look super cute. It's the back of this paper is why I can't use it. See? Because I'm giving you guys all that. But super cute. This is the one you have a chance to win along with this one. And this one, let's see, what order did I make these in? One, two, three. This is mine. Um, this is my free class. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Joyce. Thank you, Stella. Um, let me go back on these comments here. Julie says, OMG, much better with the black paper. I know, right? It just like finishes it off. It's basically almost a replica of this, except you would use probably Sahara scent, or I don't think we sell Sahara, but like crumb cake cardstock or something to do that. But still, it looks good. I like this color to me. That looks like wood, that pecan pie. Um, so one, two, three, which one's your favorite? This is number four. This card is um, part of your class packet that you'll get free from me in July, or you earn it in July, you get it in August. I'm looking also, is it in that baggie? I made a really tall one of these. And by the way, look how we colored the lights. I added the yellow under. I think I thought that was really cute. Um, I made a really tall one. Where did I put it? Hopefully I I did keep it because I thought I was gonna put it on a scrapbook page. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but I wanted this card to be taller and I added a a third. It has two. I added a third or a fourth story. It has three stories. It was just too tall for the card. Like you couldn't design anything else around it. But anyway, and that's a bookstore card, by the way, for my bookstore fans. We were talking at the beginning. You could color in the books, of course. I just kept it simple. Like in our bingo, I know Robin um, uh, colored in a lot of the books on the book card we made there. And it looked super cute. Sometimes I just lock up on that. I'm like, do I color all of them? Do I color none? Like I lock up and make it look junky. So I just kept it simple. Anyway, card number one, love card four. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Stella and Zana. Which one? For Zana says four, but love them all. I love that yellow four. I left that one off because I thought it was too simple. <laughs> like I left it off the video because I was like, it's too simple. I mean, it's not simple, but you know what I mean? I did use the stained glass though. Um, cool. Ramona says second one is her favorite. I know. I really like that with the lights coming down. Make it a little, you could do that on the buildings too. Anyway, thank you, uh, Ramona. 
Thanks, Cindy. Awesome. All right, everybody. <laughs> Zana says, thank you. Hope it's me. <laughs> uh, thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Joyce. Stella. Uh, Julie. Oh, yeah, you, I read that. Um, Janet, these will make cute shaker cards. I definitely thought about that, Janet. Then I backed off because I was like, oh, what kind of shaker would you put in these? It would be weird. Then I look in the catalog and they have the, the white sequins in there and it looks super cute. So definitely um, the way you can cut these windows, you can do shaker cards super easy. And uh, Janet's right. It would be super cute. But thank you guys all. Thanks. Uh, Lori says she'll catch up on replay. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Sherry. Okay. So don't forget, you want me and Landa, mainly Landa, only Landa. Hold on. Banners. I'm trying to take this thing off. To cut, die cut, punch, emboss, everything possible. Ready for you to stamp and assemble with a PDF tutorial included and free shipping. You just need to place a $25 online order in July with this host code you see on the screen. It's in the emails. It's in the blog post. Go to stamptherapist.com. You'll see it all. Um, I have a video on how to add the host code, et cetera. Um, 50 or more gets you the free Ombay dots. 150 or more is uh, all of that. But Stampin' Up! also gives you rewards. So do not use the host code in that case. I um, hope you guys have a great week. I should be back next week, same time, same place, 9 a.m. Central, Thursday. Unless I'm forgetting anything, but I think I'm good. Oh, it's class week next week, but we'll be fine. I'll get it done. So um, have a great week, and let me know if you all have any questions. Bye. Thanks, Robin. Bye.